Hello guys and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. So today we are doing something different. Today we are making Sputnik 1. Now for those of you who are astronomers and love rockets and all that, you might know about Sputnik 1. So there it is, there's a picture right there, that's Sputnik 1. It's just a sphere with a couple antennas, about a four, I think four antennas, yeah. So I'm just going to read off the NASA website here, which perfectly describes what it is. <clears throat> Let me get my uh, nice reading voice out. History changed on October 4th, 1957, when the Soviet Union successfully launched Sputnik 1. The world's first artificial satellite was about the size of a beach ball, 58 centimeters or 22.8 inches in diameter, weighed only 83.6 kilograms or 183.9 pounds and took about 98 minutes to orbit the Earth on its elliptical path. Wow, that's a lot of detail right there. 83.6 kilograms for a beach ball. Now that's one hell of a beach ball, it's pretty heavy. <laughs> yes, of course, it's not just a beach ball, it's got a few more extra things. Um, but anyway, so what we're doing here is obviously making it, and we are adding a few things to it. So I decided to add the ion engine, that way we can move this thing around instead of just leaving it in orbit for its doom, for its eventual doom, pretty much. Um, so there are a couple of problems with ion engines, as most people should know. Um, they consume a lot of electricity, and just to keep the design as closely related to the original design, we had to have everything hidden inside the sphere. So what we've done here is we've used the thermodynamic generators to generate electricity and that is inside the sphere. Now of course if we were going to use like if I didn't know about Sputnik 1 and you know I didn't really care about keeping the looks as similar as possible I would have used you know solar panels solar arrays the whole shebang right all the solar panels you can imagine because the solar arrays if you use two of them on an idle engine they are perfect beyond perfect, whereas the thermodynamic generators don't generate enough electricity to propel you uh, further enough, because when you throttle up with this design, electricity just drains right down to zero, and you have to throttle up to around about, what, not even 10% in order to still have enough electricity to propel you. So, decided to fix that up by adding a few more generators, as you can see here, we're just replicating the amount of generators. Uh, which does work eventually. And of course, we do add some electric packs. So, um, what are we doing now? Mm -hmm. Now we're just taking a look at what we can add. So, we want to add the packs, but where do we put them? Do we put them on the outside or inside? The best spot is on the inside. Remember what I said, to keep the looks as similar as possible. So there we go, on the inside. And the only thing about this design is that you can sort of see a few sharp parts sticking out of the sphere, but yeah, you can sort of ignore it. Overall, this design does look good. As you can see, they're, they're the sharp parts right there. <laughs> that part doesn't look too good, but it's okay. And of course, we have to automate the antennas so they can extend and retract at our own will. When you press like number one, I think that's what we set it up on. Of course, we've used the option hack gravity because the ion engines don't have, they don't really, they don't have enough propellant to propel you far. Well, yeah, they're not strong enough. So now, as the original design had it, what happens is in actual designs in real life, you have like a shielding, right, around your the Sputnik, right? And that's what we've made here. We've made the shielding around the Sputnik, and when we are in space, we will jettison the shield, leaving the Sputnik. There we go. So it's all about looks in this case. Of course, it doesn't look very good, but it works. Functionality-wise, it works. Even though you don't necessarily need a shield when it comes to Kerbal Space Program. Yeah, thing, a few things here and there are a bit inaccurate. But nevertheless, I will leave you to some nice music, and I will be right back.
So guys, we have successfully entered Eve's atmosphere. We are about to land in the ocean. Parachute is deployed and it's all good. So this design went fairly well. And of course, in real life, it did not go to Eve because there is no Eve in our solar system. Ha <laughs> ha. But of course, we decided to do it because we can. Why else? Because we can. And it works, right? With just a little bit of fuel left. And of course, we can't go home with it. But there we go. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I love the peaceful music. It's really nice. Nice, peaceful, calm music. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And see you next time. Bye.